In this screencast, I'm going to walk you through a little web application that I built along with another member of DonationCoder.com. And it's a web application for advising on smart bets in the World Cup tournament. This was actually originally written for the uh, World Cup in 2006 and was just um, updated for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Now, even if you're not interested in gambling, this turns out to be a, quite an interesting um, examination of Markov chain Monte Carlo methods. And so a good portion of the web pages are devoted to explaining uh, what Mar Markov chain Monte Carlo is and uh, why it's useful, why it's appropriate for this task, and uh, what the uh, decisions are uh, that make it work. So it's a little hard to show on this small screen, but let me just basically give you a little picture of what the uh, web application looks like. As you can see, it's actually a good part of it is just devoted to explaining the basic ideas of MCMC and uh, how it relates to the World Cup tournament. Talks a little bit about uh, probability functions, Gaussian and Poisson, and why you would use one and not the other, and what, the, what are the trade-offs. Um, but okay, so let's enter the main page here, which does the simulations. Now it's all done using JavaScript in your client, and um, let me just basically, I won't give you the whole uh, Markov chain Monte Carlo uh, explanation, but I'll just give you a quick tour of the basic idea. A tournament is run by pitting teams against each other in specific orders, and then the winners of certain games move advance on to the next round and the next round and the next round. And if you can estimate how well each team matches up against another team, you can actually simulate millions and millions of possible tournament outcomes, possible ways teams could be matched up against each other. And the basic idea of uh, Markov Chain Monte Carlo is basically to run hundreds and thousands of brute force simulated tournaments and then accumulate over time what the odds are of each team winning the full tournament. Um, now you could use that to predict what the likelihood of any given team winning the tournament, but that's actually not what, the pro what this web application is designed to do. It's much more interesting. It's designed to look at the betting odds on the, in the marketplace and find the bets that are the sweetest. The teams that are sort of not, fa it's rarely the team that's favored to win that you want to bet on because everyone's betting on them so their odds are poor. So even if they have a fairly good chance of winning, it's not a smart bet. So what the simulation does is tries to find the teams that have a better likelihood of winning than their current odds would suggest and suggest and then it tells you to bet on that team. So let's take a look at the actual simulation page and then we'll look a little bit behind the scenes. So here are the teams that are involved in the FIFA 2010 World Cup. Here are the current betting lines uh, scraped from uh, a betting site. And um, now a key thing in this simulation is it needs to know from an expert how well each team matches up against each other. So if Brazil played against France, how what would what would the score likely what would the score be? And there are different ways you can specify the probabilities of the score. So we're not going to look at that yet. But suffice it to say that the simulation is agnostic about that. It uses expert rating files that people who visit the website can create. Now I don't know anything about soccer or any of these teams so uh, I can't tell you how well Algeria would match up against Chile. But I have created two sample uh, ratings files. The first one says every team is equally likely to beat every other team. 
So all teams are equal. If we choose this ratings file, what should happen is, let's load it. Okay, so now it's loaded the uh, it's loaded the ratings file, which is a useless ratings file. It just says every team is equally as good as every other team. Um, um, now, if, now we can see though the basic idea. I'm going to start the simulation running here, and it's actually simulating full tournaments. It's playing all the teams playing against each other according to the FIFA 2010 matchups, and it's. Um, estimating in this first column how likely each team is to win. And you see if we keep letting this run eventually these will all uh, average out to the same percentage. Uh, but you can see here what's a little more interesting. If you look at the uh, betting lines uh, it's telling you now the red are the profitable bets. And you can see if we were going to make a bet now we'd bet, we'd bet on Honduras. Why? Because Honduras has the, is the le is estimated by the betting odds has the biggest payoff because they think Honduras is the least likely to win. But the predictor, which remember is using um, uh, nonsensical uh, expert ratings, says that Honduras is as likely to win as anyone else. So it's suggesting put your money here. Your your expected payoff is 14 times what you bet. So that's the basic idea. Here's the number of tournaments run, all running within the browser. Um, now let's stop this. Let's load. This is a random set of ratings, which again is just as useless. However, it will give you a better picture for let's run the tournaments. Now in this uh, configuration, some teams play well against others. So you can see in this random set of ratings, uh, Ghana is favored to win the tournament. But notice, here's the key point, notice that even though Ghana is favored to win the tournament, 12% of the time, 11% of the time it wins, look at what the best bet to make is. It's still Honduras. Why is it still Honduras? By such, it's now even larger margin, Honduras. Well, that's because even though Honduras has only a 4% estimated chance of winning, so it's not likely that Honduras will win, but it's still suggesting you bet on Honduras. That's because the expected payoff is so much higher. Ghana may be more likely to win, but its payoff is pretty low, 67 to 1. You can see how bad some of these others uh, uh, are, the negative. These are really poor choices to bet, if these ratings were accurate, which they're not. So there you have it. There's the basic idea. And now, hopefully, uh, as with 2006, we'll get some serious soccer experts to come in and put in some useful expert ratings. And the way they would do that is they'd come up here, they'd say to create a new expert rating file. They'd give it a name and a description. And they can make it public or private. And then they have to fill in these values. And you can see it's every team versus every other team, what uh, uh, expected score would be, and standard deviations, or n sort of, you could think of it as noise in the scores. And you can see there are a lot of values <laughs> to fill out, every team versus every other team. So you have to be a pretty hardcore um, soccer football uh, fan to go through the trouble of figuring uh, filling this out, but actually some people did for 2006 and we got some very interesting predictions and results. Um, and again, in the spirit of uh, understanding and what Markov Chain Monte Carlo is, you can actually pull up this sample page which lets you test what the effect of standard deviations are on uh, uh, Gaussian and, prob and uh, Poisson probability functions and we could say if we think when team A plays team B, the score is going to be 2 to 3, but this has a slightly higher standard deviation. We can simulate these parameters, which actually simulates a couple hundred games and tells us how likely team A is to win, how likely there is to be a tie, and then using Gaussian, using Poisson, and then here are some sample scores to give you a picture if you use these values when you were filling out that expert rating table here would be some sample scores and um, 
just a basic overview of what MCMC is about, how it works, and let's see, what else? Is there anything else to uh, tell you about? We'll give some uh, prizes or something if anyone wants to take the trouble to figure this stuff out and put in some values, and uh, we'll put some money on it and see how it does.